At approximately 3 p.m. today, uh, 911 received a phone call of a gentleman that was found inside the school, uh, Okaloosa Walton Community College, or Northwest Florida State College now. And uh, EMS responded, found the subject inside one of the rooms, and uh, they found him. Apparently, he was deceased and had some gunshot wounds to the chest. How many uh, gunshot wounds were there? At this time, it looks like uh, at least two. The so. victim was here, was called here for a service call on a vending machine. Okay. The, the, the victim was here. It's unrelated to the school, just happened to be here as our belief. It's not a school shooting type of incident. We just believe that uh, uh, the gentleman that was the, the victim that was found was working on one of the vending machines and was shot for whatever reason at least a couple of times. Okay. And uh, we're not sure if the, if the victim uh, was, again, after this particular person or possibly the company or, or what the motive is. We just don't know right now. Yes, right now we're looking for a um, Thomas McCoy, Tom McCoy, a white male, date of birth of 91 of 66, uh, has a Lower Hill address, and a uh, possible suspect at this time, driving a truck, silver in color, aluminum silver in color, with a Florida license plate of El Lima 929 R Romeo F Foxtrot. We believe it's an isolated incident, and we believe it's uh, just one suspect and one victim at this time. And we are looking for him. Uh, it occurred sometime around 3 o'clock, a little before. Um, there's not a whole lot of eyewitnesses. We do have some saying they saw a gentleman matching this description leaving the area in the same type of vehicle we just described.